Right, good morning, thanks for clicking on to the Tuesday edition of Logan's European Outlook. Early edition today, and comparing the uh, the two-minute temperature anomalies for 1500 Friday afternoon across England and Wales. And why am I showing you just England and Wales and not Scotland? Well, the heat is not going to be a, a particularly big factor across the northern half of the British Isles. I alluded to multiple times in the last few days regarding the um you know short lived heat wave and then um, I, I use that very loosely indeed that term because it's not really going to reach heat wave criteria I don't think a bar possibly um southeastern uh, stations of the British Isles where we may see three straight days of twenty six twenty seven Celsius or above. But the uh, ECMWF this is a comparison between the ECMWF and the GFS uh, temperatures for Friday afternoon and you can see here off the ECMWF we've got multiple pockets I know it's not very clear to see uh, I do apologize about that but multiple pockets of a uh, 28 Celsius and a few spots that looks arguably 29 uh, Celsius uh, for a maximum temperature so anywhere from the Liverpool area into parts of a uh, of, of Yorkshire and down through the Midlands, as well as, of course, the southeast, as well as also uh, around the uh, Cornwall-Devon border, we've got another area of 28 Celsius. Also in, uh, in the eastern side of Ireland, we've got 26 degrees close to Dublin, if you notice here, only 14 Celsius on the Atlantic coast. Looking at the GFS, you can see here that there is a lot less coverage of these pockets of 28 celsius we've got um you know several spots it looks as if it uh, kind of mid 20s possibly mid to kind of low end of high 20s so 26 27 degrees i suppose you could say and then we've got an area um you know around or slightly north of the capital of, uh, of london uh, possibly uh, the um the kind of 28 range uh, but certainly across Scotland, um, it is going to be a very different story altogether. If we look at the tweet that I've literally just released, and I need the app, uh, there we go. Um, you can see here that we've got uh, a very different story altogether. The ECMWF only printing out low 20s, actually. High teens across the southern uplands and really through the highlands, it looks as if we're only talking about uh, temperatures in the teens. 14 degrees on the north coast of Lewis, if you notice here. So nothing particularly uh, to write home about, that's for sure. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see exactly how warm we see over the next uh, several days here. My hunch is that 30 degrees is going to be the maximum temperature. That's what I'm going to call anyway, uh, and that will be within the Greater London area. These were the temperatures yesterday. Nothing to write home about for... Uh, an approach in the middle portion of June. Temperatures only 13.8 at Loch Osgarnock. Uh, it looks as if uh, the highest temperatures in Scotland was only 17 degrees. And uh, down across uh, areas uh, between Bristol and London, uh, knocking the door of 20 or 21 Celsius. So nothing particularly warm, uh, that's for sure, for this time of the year, of course. But uh, looking at the... Uh, region the heat source of what we're going to see in the next few days spain and southern france cooking so yesterday i believe fourth day yeah fourth day in a row above 40 celsius and we are going to continue to see that what we are going to see however is um the core of heat shifted up in the northeastern spain and then eventually in the france because of that area of low pressure to the west of portugal that will push Eastwards, forcing the core of the ridge north, and um, essentially the movement of both an area of low pressure near Iberia, an area of low pressure also uh, approaching Scotland, that forces the high to the east of the UK, and that will allow the southerly winds to start pulling some of this heat northwards. And like I say, because of the presence of low pressure near Scotland, that then uh, deflects and, and keeps that heat south of the border, generally speaking. Like I said yesterday, probably, if anything, maybe 23 or 24 uh, up the eastern side of Scotland, but I think uh, mid-teens at best across western portions 
of the country. Looking at 850 millibar temperatures here of the GFS and their fresh conditions across the UK at the moment, bar the southwest, as you can see here. And then as I play through the loop through the next several days, we start to see the air at 850 warming up. And then eventually, uh, mid and late week, we see the, uh, the warmest air that we're going to see moving up into the southern half of the British Isles. So this is Friday at 1500 UTC and you can see here knocking the door of the 20 Celsius isotherm but notice the cool air uh, approaching the western side of Scotland here and it's going to be interesting to actually see how um, you know the air warms in the southern flank of the UK temperatures 20 Celsius at 5000 feet but we've also got a zero Celsius over the northwest highlands of Scotland. So it's not every day, it's quite rare actually to see this type of temperature profile in the middle levels of the atmosphere. Zero Celsius or minus one actually over Torridon uh, and Applecross and you've got 20 Celsius down across Kent. So a very significant uh, 20 Celsius spread in temperature at 850. Um, worth noting that we just don't simply see that very often in the British Isles. Then eventually what happens is that area of low pressure approaching Scotland then forces the heat to go southwards once again and then we get this kind of back and forth between warmer and colder air both at 850 and at the surface here and there is going to be a real battle, a real tug of war between uh, cooler and warmer over the western side of uh, the European continent. And this has been something that I've been saying for my June forecast in particular, that we're going to see these big backs and forths between warm and cold and low pressure and high pressure over the UK, Ireland and western portions of Europe here. Let's have a very quick look actually at the maximum temperature for Saturday because I think you could argue, yeah, you could actually argue that we're going to see uh, still cool conditions across Scotland, but the cool extends down into the north of England, if you notice here. That being said, it looks as if Saturday has the potential to be the warmest day of the entire week because we've got uh, temperatures, according to the GFS, indicating 30 or 31 Celsius just south of, of London here. So that's quite interesting to see. Looking at the ECMWF to see what that says, for the same period here and look at this here by the way this is something I'm, i apologize by the way i've not been looking at is the thunderstorm prospect as the heat comes north and then of course the cool comes south we get this clash this battle between warm and cold and of course that always leads to showers and thunderstorms i will talk about that actually in tomorrow's video and it's something that i haven't uh, i've kind of neglected to talk about uh you know thus far so let's have a quick look and see, and I'll end at that, uh, the two meter temperatures here for the UK. So cool in rural areas, that's for sure, over the next day, several days as well, by the way. But then as we push towards the end of the week, you can see here that we start to see these warm temperatures starting to develop here. So this is Friday afternoon. This is the latest, of course. And you can see here that we are actually seeing now, this is an update, by the way. You know, I actually had a note. The previous run of the ECMWF, this is the latest run of the ECMWF for 1500 Friday. And you can see here an area between Cambridge and London and just east of that uh, in the 30 Celsius range here. So it's going to be interesting to see how warm it does get on Friday. I'm still going to go with 30 Celsius as the maximum. We'll wait and see what happens. The ECMWF on Saturday afternoon has a very small area, but we still could see close to 30 Celsius, if you notice, uh, near the south coast of England. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Please like, share and subscribe as always, and drop a comment in the section below as well. Bye for now.